Oh, cool. yeah, Doom's like a hidden character, if I remember correctly. Yes, Maximus Bada for the win! It's me, it's me, it's Kyle, 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 Charles, one host of the Trip Around the Multiverse podcast, where we talk about pop culture stuff, like um, movies, obviously, <laughs> video games, comics, wrestling, other things that take our fancy, like some animes, you know some cartoons, all that lovely, jubbly, sort of geeky, fashionable stuff. And I'm going to be carrying on with my um, little thrown out content <laughs> revolving Marvel versus Capcom fighting collection arcade volume one or whatever. I don't remember the title off the top of my head. So in the last video, I played the amazing but super hard in 2024 um x-men children of the atoms a fighting game featuring the x-men and now i'm going to be playing marvel superheroes it's the sequel i think came out in 1995 or six honestly 95 but i could be very wrong either way i if it was 95 i'd been 10 if it was 96 no, 95 would have been 9. 96 would have been 10. Either way, um, there's a brief backstory of how I came across this game. And I might actually get it out, but I might have to quickly disappear and come back. So, I remember it was the... Might have been summer or winter or whatever, of whatever year this came out in the arcades. And um, my mum's cousin from Barbados, because that's where my mum's side of family from, is Barbados, uh, came over and we took him to Trocadero. And if you're from England or from London, back then you could actually drive to central London and not pay a fee. Like now you've got to pay a congestion charge and all that, which is ridiculous. So anyway, we drove to Trocadero. In my memory, it was late at night. It probably was not probably like eight, nine o'clock because it used to get dark quick and I was young so I didn't know the concept of time at the time so it was in an arcade walk around I saw street, Super Street Fighter 2 saw Cammy for the first time I was like oh Cammy hopefully he doesn't awaken something in me and going through the floors and ammo then me and brother saw this game Marvel Super Heroes I was like oh wow that's cool this looks amazing and it's like oh look there's Captain America oh look there's Wolverine again and oh snap Spider-Man throat character so I was like oh cool so we played it was amazed by it and then a couple of years I think it might have been later that year or could have been the year after my brother had a Sega Saturn and then he got it for Christmas Marvel vs Marvel Super Heroes and like back then Sega Saturn heart games were really hard to get and we got it we played it it was amazing and then it disappeared so actually no did I have the then I think I ended up playing the PlayStation version, which was quite terrible. Because remember back then, Saturn had the best like fighting games. It was like arcade perfect when it came to fighting games. And that was awesome. And then just disappeared. Then obviously, we know what came out after. So give me a second. Let me see if I can actually get my copy of it. So I'll show you that. I really do have it. Actually, it's too much of a hassle. It's actually not in my cupboard. It's actually in my loft. So never mind. Um, when I find it later on, I'll send a picture. I'll put it on like Instagram or something. Anyways, so that is my brief little introduction to the game. And this game is slightly different from X Men: Chaos, yeah, which I'll get into in a sec. So let's actually go and play X Men. Why did I say X Men? Play Marvel Superheroes. 
Also, there was like a um, there's like a SNES version of the game, which is really weird. It's it's not as good. It's actually a side scroller beat em up, which is quite weird. But hey, you know, it kind of is what it is. That was a super hard game to get as well at the point. Yeah, that was a super hard game to get at the time, and I think we almost got it. I think because we couldn't, because we couldn't get that, we ended up getting Marvel Super Heroes, if I remember correctly. I think my uncle got it, so fast shout out to my uncle David. He was great. He's a great guy. I must say he was. He's still alive. All right, here we go. Superheroes. See his cap in the corner. Little intro. OJ. See, one thing I say I like about this collection, right, is how they make the screen look like it's a CTE screen, like the old arcade machine screens. Like you can see like the lines and stuff in the screen, so that's pretty dope. Oh, I've got a quick, quick. So I picked Spider-Man. I'm gonna do... Norm? Turbo? I don't remember what none of this stuff means. So like the gimmick for this game is basically like, each stage when you fight, there's like a, a, a infinity gem. And they give you like different abilities, like, so, I remember that Soul gives you more power. And the power stone, or the power gem, obviously, gives you. No, sorry. The. Ooh! The Soul gem gives you health back. You know, health. Soul. A heart. And that. And what's kind of cool about this game as well, like the whole Captain America, he misses a move, and his shield falls down. See, I remember I used to be really good at fighting games. I wouldn't say like great, but I was like decent out of all my friends. But now I'm just like, not as good. That's what happens when you like switch from like playing primary fighting games to like first person shooters and action games. Oh! There we go, reality. So I throw out like pumpkin bomb. There you go. Life recovery. See, I was right. Soul gives you life recovery. Max Spider! There we go, baby. One of the best finishes. Maximum Spider. In reference to the game, Maximum. Not a game, the. <laughs> the Spider Man event. Maximum Carnage. Oh, I've got a new achievement. War of Gems. Oh, I didn't get the reboot of Spider Man. Sad. It's pretty exciting. Witty and cocky. And this game first introduced me to the one known as Black Hole. I didn't know who he was until this game. He's like the son of Mephesto the Devil. He's also appeared in the Ghost Rider film. As a dude in a suit. Probably in this weird contraption. I can't remember if he's bull crap. I haven't seen him in any actual comics of one. Uh, you see him at Festival in time. As he's the one who dissolved the marriage of MJ and. Spider-Man. No! 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 Oh, you... It's gonna happen again, isn't it? We get to the second stage and get demolished.
I remember as well, each character has like a different... Never mind. Dude, has a different level of like super. I can't remember, I think Shimagaras level only got to like one. But everyone has like, I think we'll pretty much be the only person with like two finishes, like super moves. And of, I think, obviously Doom, but Doom is Doom. Nope! And you can actually, which I keep forgetting, you can direct Maximus Spider. Oh, cool. yeah, Doom's like a hidden character, if I remember correctly. Yes! Maximus Bada for the win! Oh, no. Yep. In the later games, Spider-Man gets like two finishes. Like he gets um, Crawler Assault and Ultimate Web Pro, which is added to Marvel vs. Capcom. So I think he has his Crawler Assault in Oh wait, Infinity Counter! I'm dead. Yep, I'm dead. It's, it's, it's happening again, isn't it? Where I'm gonna get to level two and then not be able to get past it, and then you're all gonna think I'm like terrible at this. You're no match for. Oh god. Hey. Should we carry on with Spidey, or do I go to everyone's favourite Canadian? No, I carry on with Spidey. T -t 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 Turbo. Take one for JJ. See, I only played, to be fair, I only bought this game. Obviously, I was going to buy it anyway because I love these games. But because I saw Matt McMuscle playing it, and I was like, you know what? It brings back memories. Matt McMuscle, he does, he's got the channel. Um, obviously, channel's Matt McMuscle. But he does. Um, what happened series where he talks about why. See, I didn't know what. No! That wasn't fair. I, I can't remember how you freaking. Activate the gems. So how did that work? Nah, 
maybe I've just got I'm more better at like the 3D fighting games, which isn't a good thing. There we go. You thought they would Frame break drop at some point, but that's probably called the arcade. All right, that was not great. You make your way for the new world order, black heart, blah blah blah. Okay, let me see if I is there anything I can change. I don't. See, that doesn't make any sense. It's not changing anything. All right, move list. I know the moves, so I don't know why I did that. Oh, it's all characters, cool. Blend sound. Go. Marquee card. Oh, that's cool. All right, never noticed that. All right. Um, should we, I'm gonna try a different character this time. Let me try, not the purple green. Try Cap someone new, let's try. Captain America. Hopefully it made me go back to the beginning. It does. That's annoying. <sighs> what a pro. So maybe it's off the beginning, but I still have like three gems. Oh, I had three gems. I should save the Spider Man. No, what? You know what? No, no, no. All right, can I quit this? Yes. All right. I don't care what you all say. I'm changing the difficulty. Hate me if you want. I don't care. All right. Uh. Display? What does that mean? Boot display. I don't. Okay, I guess that's what I'm going to do. Is that what all these, these options mean? Marvel right. superheroes. Let's try one more time. Iron Man. No, they could be Spidey. Juggernaut! Did you know that Juggernaut was beaten by Spider Man? And um, it was in a comic and in the 70s, I think, or maybe the 80s. And the only way Spider Man beat Juggernaut, he had to like trick him into some cement um, pit. And then the cement dropped on him because Juggernaut can't move. He becomes mobile. He becomes like this mobile. His power doesn't work anymore. So he was stuck there for like, I think it was like a year or something? Or six months. I can't remember. I only found out most of this because I was reading the Juggernaut series from um, the Kokoa saga, Kokoa saga of the X Men. And he speaks about it. And then. Five Man went through a phase, I think in the mid 2000s when I got back into comics. Spider Man, he, he's um, obviously like he's married and that got fallen. Then he, he was, it was a storyline called The Gauntlet, and one of the people we had to fight with in this gauntlet thing was Juggernaut. So, I always liked Juggernaut. Especially now that he's come more of like a good guy and stuff. I really liked him. No, that wasn't fair. Kane Marco, why would you do that? And like, 
his change from good guy, from bad guy to good guy was kind of organic and had a reason. He like, tried to get back in his brother's good books and then he joined the X-Men for a bit earlier and then he, he came friends with his kid and I think the kid died and then that made him like, I'm changing my ways. Thank God for that. Yeah, and then he became good. Then he had a relapse. And now he's good again. So yeah. Also, did you know he dated the uh, She-Hulk for a bit? Wow, child wasn't bad, but you're... Oh, I didn't even get to read that. Now we're facing the Iron Avenger. Then, depends how this goes. That probably is probably my last fight. But, um... If you guys want me to carry on with like this game, let me know in the comments down below. And, and uh, let me know if you remember playing this game, or was this the first time you heard this game? There's not many people, not in the fighting game community, that actually heard this game. A lot of my early, like I know about because a lot of my early games when I was younger were like fighting games. So. You. Mm. No. Superior attack. Superior attack. I don't know if this Iron Man is the same Iron Man voice from the Iron Man cartoon from the time, but it was on Marvel Action Hour. It was Fantastic Four, Iron Man. I'm so surprised none of the Fantastic Four characters are in this game. The cartoon was out around the time. What? No, what, guys? I'm gonna call it there. That was annoying. But I'm gonna save it anyway. Quick save. So we're gonna cut it there, guys. And yeah, that was me playing the Marvel vs. Capcom collection Marvel superheroes. Hope you guys enjoyed me playing this. Uh, once again, let me know your back like history with these games, because like, like. I know a lot of people don't really know about these games, but it depends on like where you were in your life when these things come out. That makes any sense. So let me know um, who was your favorite cap character if you did play these games, or was you watching like Marvel cartoons at the time? I know a lot of you may not be old enough to watch those cartoons when they were, because I don't think you even existed at that point. But let me know. So that would have been like X Men, obviously Spider Man. Marvel Action Hour, which had the Fantastic Four and Iron Man in our show. Incredible Hulk. Magic, well, that might come out a bit later. But anyways, um, let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Um, help us get to 150 subs. I don't know. I, I don't know what our end of the year goal is. But anyway, help, help us get there. It'd be great. I love you all for that. And also, don't forget to follow us on Instagram and Twitter. And then until next time, guys, I like to thank you for taking a trip with me, Kyle, from the Trip Around the Multiverse podcast. Around the multiverse. Bye.